It's human to dream of a life of idle luxury and never having to have a day's work for the rest of your life. That, however, isn't Sarisha Naidu's style, and she thrives on hard work and fresh challenges. The obvious question is, just how does she do it? Let's see if we can get some answers. Socialite, fashionista, businesswoman, actor, media personality, PRO, philanthropist, sister, wife, mother and dog lover are all words that describe Sarisha Naidu, but only certain aspects. To form a complete picture, we were invited to a home in Umschlanga. Hello Mello, welcome to my home. We've got a fun full day ahead. So this is home, and I like to call it uh, the home base. It's because my kids are here, my life is here, and even though I travel so much, I'm glad to have some stability between Johannesburg and Durban and have all the little pieces that mean so much to me here, which would include all my furry kids, as well as my two-legged ones. It's who I am, and it took us roughly eight months to redo, and it's finally a home. It was very hard to agree on a design concept because my husband Viv and I are two very different people when it comes to style. I'm the old school vintage contemporary person, he's the classic very high tech modern person. So to have that come together, oh my goodness, there was a lot of debate but finally we reached some sort of consensus like his room, her room, your room, my room. Because Vivian is in the power industry, I think for him lighting was a priority and I also love decadent uh, OTT chandeliers. So we kind of agreed on that part of the house. So all the rooms have like different sort of chandeliers and different crystal elements to it that are beautiful and, and elegant at the same time. I think he let me go crazy on the tones and the wallpaper choices. For example, the kitchen is very clean, uh, very clinical almost with a pop of color in the wallpaper and the rest of the home is very decadent and uh, very over the top <laughs> kind of pieces like the one I'm sitting on. So yeah, it was, a, it was a compromise, but we tried to make the different spaces work, but still have a flow within the home. Sarisha doesn't play up her spiritual side in public, but it holds a significant place in her personal life. My study slash meditation and prayer room is the place where I spend a lot of time in. It's a workspace and it's also a very calm space in my home. I feel very um, blissful when I'm in that room. I think the way I like to release and to relax is meditation and especially light meditation because I try and get myself to a nice focal point and de-stress and let go of everything and the best time to do it is in the morning. So when I start my morning like that it just goes so smoothly afterwards. She's comfortable about imposing structure, order and self-discipline on herself. But some members of the family enjoy free reign. Yes, I know. What can I say? There's a lot of pugs in this house. It's not just a trend, they're a part of my life and I, I really love them. For example, Max is the male in the house and next to Max is Blossom and they just had five little ones and this is one of them. This is Buttercup, my naughtiest of the lot and loves being with me, can't live without me. And this is Bubbles. Bubbles has big brown eyes and loves to sunbathe and you know, so they all have different characteristics. So here we have them, the power pug girls. So it's Blossom, Buttercup and Bubbles. So I don't use all day to, to mess around with the dogs. I, I have designated times for them. Uh, but I have a photo shoot planned now, which I'm inviting you to. So let's go have a look. In the early 2000s, Sarisha was crowned Miss India South Africa, which in many ways launched her career. By this time, she had already earned a degree in journalism from Rhodes University. But winning the crown placed her in the public eye and created opportunities that she was quick to grasp. That was more than a decade ago, but she's retained her model looks and her ability to make the camera fall in love with her. So we're about to get into the photo shoot and I work with a very good team and we always do it like from time to time because we want to refresh the brand, one of the many brands of the company. So let's get to it. So recently a friend of mine who's been designing for me for over a decade, we got together. Well, we've been planning to do this over the last four or five years and we said let's do a range together. Something 
that's far removed from his style, but um, that, that meets both uh, our styles together. And mine is very classic and comfortable with a little bit of edgy. So part of the shoot today was to get new picks for that brand and to enrich and enliven the website that's up and coming. Just to be able to take pictures of her is always just absolute pleasure as a photographer. She gives you exactly what you want. Um, she knows what to do with her body. She knows the angles and uh, yeah, you're always just in for a great time when you're taking pictures of her. No matter how packed a diary may be, she always makes sure to spend quality time with her children, Kalina and Sahil. Sharks cried Rose, lots cried Stu. They'll gobble us, they'll guzzle us, whatever shall we do? With Stu and Rose for the faraway isle of... No, no, no. The values I'd like to pass on to my kids would be love. I think there's not enough in the world. I think everyone's looking for a good gossip or a scandal and no one wants to just look the other person in the eye and love them for who they are and see through everything and just love the soul. So for me it would be that. Uh, from the person who guards your car to, to literally your mom, your dad. And I, for me it's also, uh, I think in the Hindu culture we don't, um, it's called Mata Pitha Guru Devam, which means like mother, father, then your teacher and then God. So it's the essentialness of respecting your parents and loving your parents and then all blessings will come your way. Sarisha throws herself into philanthropy with all the energy that she applies to her business ventures. Food for Life is just one of the charities that she supports not only financially but also with hands-on involvement. My company is a small company. I, I like to consider ourselves small to medium right now and but it's we still like to give back and the small ways we do that is we've put up little jungle gyms in schools that really need it. We, I've been feeding a school for five years and SPCA is a huge part of my life and we feed them weekly. Um, and all the little projects that we can manage as a small business because you know it's not waiting till you say oh I'm gonna wait till my business is bigger and I can give more. We believe in giving little things now and then you know just helping wherever we can because that's what makes a difference. While it's been a long journey from her childhood in Shellcross, Sarisha still places family at the center of her life. She doesn't discount the value of material wealth, but for her, it isn't the key to inner fulfillment. My definition of success is happiness. I know it sounds so easy, but the more money you make and the more wealth you garner does not equate who you are. So for me, it would be peace of mind and learning to live in the condition and the circumstances that you're in equally. So if you're having a bad day, treat it the same way you would having a good day. So if you can live in that equilibrium, then your mind is at ease and it's easier for you as a human being.